I don't know, um, child, we've been waiting how long for the season to start? So, all right, I'm let's do it because I feel like it's going to be another day. I'm about to go, I'm about to, go to sleep. So. <laughs> Hello! Hi, Welcome to Bird Events YouTube. My name is Icon Ebony Fias. And I'm Onyx on Dicks, baby. And this is Icon and Onyx. And we are doing a little RuPaul's Drag Race recap today. Yes. Going over season 13, episode 3. We're here and we're to dish a little tea and talk about our feels on the episode. What did you think? Well, um, so basically we had just seen the, lack of a better term, the winners group. Okay. Just finished, they did their um, remix of the RuPaul song, they did their runways. And now we get to see for lack of a better term, the losing group. The losing group. Who has just freshly voted Elliot with two teens off the island, who went to the winners group. We're back in the workroom, and it's basically a repeat of the last episode, only instead of night and day runway for the mini challenge, they are doing Lady and the Vamps, which Lady suspiciously the vamps. looks just like the night and day challenge, but that's neither here nor there. So with the mini challenge, whose looks did you like? I loved, 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 love Cindy Shimon. Ah, like, this really was just her in episode. general, like it just, yeah, like she really fucking brought it. And I, I really loved Rose's first look. Yes, yeah. I felt like it was cute, very All, colorful. Though everybody and their moms is doing, um, you know, a Moschino reference. This is true. This season, or McQueen <laughs> reference. <laughs> as the, the other this track. runway was a very much like <laughs> Mosquito McQueen it, influence. Yeah. <laughs> like day was Mosquito, the night was McQueen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're like bitches. They know that Jeremy Scott's watching, all right? Yeah. <laughs> but this one was Tamisha Mon's episode. Yeah, it was. I feel like she won the episode. <laughs> um, with the runways, love Tamisha's the hair look. Mm -hmm. Very like Morticia Adams, only out of hair. Yes. And I loved uh, Utica's. Utica's? In the daytime, honestly, with the balls. Utica's wacky wild. I'm here for it. Yeah, Utica has grown on me. Like, mm -hmm. she's, she gives me, like, you know, I am just this tall, earthy, semi Christian woman that <laughs> shops at free people. <laughs> And, you know, I just love to smoke weed and talk about Jesus. She did drop the I Love Jesus this season. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, Jesus is cool. Mm -hmm. And I burst into flames when she said that. But yeah. You know. <laughs> Whose looks did you not like? And if you want me to start off being shady, I'll That's say so, who I didn't so, like. Who, who did? So, uh, I did not particularly enjoy Joey J's runway looks. And here's why, I'll tell you why. Um, I love the fact that they use their real hair. If you can do it, God bless ya. Mm -hmm. I can't. Um, but their looks seemed very like, like the harness, I've seen that on Amazon, you know? And there's nothing wrong with getting his stuff off Amazon, but if that's the focal point of your outfit, I don't know. It looked very like, like a brunch outfit. I like will, performing at brunch. I'll definitely have to race. agree. Yeah. I don't know. The headband kind of threw me off with the with the. Um, it didn't really match. With, with, yeah, it just looked like the wig. It, it looks like you took your wig off last minute. And <laughs> it did. The headband is there to hold back their hair. Yeah. I mean, I love Joey J, but like, you gotta like I don't know if you want to do that. I would take some one of those hairspray coloring hairsprays you get from the yeah. um, hair store. The ones with glitter in it. Mm -hmm. Spray paint the hair. Give it a little bit of streaks. Give it a little bit of Something. shimmer. And that will make a huge difference. You don't gotta, you know, Honestly. wear fancy head pieces if you're not wearing a wig. You can just, yeah. you know, Spray. elevate it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just give it a, give, <laughs> give it, it a little dazzle. Mm -hmm. And just like, bitch, you're on RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm -hmm. Like, wow me. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm here for like getting something from a store, like repurposing it and turning it into like, not everything has to be custom made exactly. shit, but mm, just, I think the bar was a little low. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the Maxi Challenge? The Maxi Challenge, so they had to do a little right of verse, do a little mm -hmm. dance. Do a little choreography. Oh, was, your hood just came off. I know. Oh. 
You can use that as a slow mo. Let's do a little mm -hmm. dance. The maxi challenge. So they had to write a verse and do a little dance number. And it mm -hmm. seemed in this group we have a lot of dancers. And specifically, we have oh, a lot sorry. of court. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right in the middle of our YouTube episode, you're gonna sneeze. I'm sorry, sneeze. Jesus, Mary Joseph. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> Go zoom tight. Go zoom. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> take three. Okay, take so, three. <laughs> the maxi challenge. What did you think of the maxi challenge? <laughs> so they had to write a verse. Um, and do a little dance. We had a lot of cooks in the kitchen this time around. A lot of dancers and more specifically a lot of choreographers. Yeah. Mm -mm. Everyone threw in their two cents. And I feel like in that situation, personally, I am not a trained dancer or choreographer. I would take the back seat. Yeah. But y'all figure it out. Just let me know. Let's just start on the right foot because I'm bad <sighs> on my left. Bitch, I'm just way too damn impatient to deal with other people's personalities yeah. and shit. I'm a very much, um, you know, when it comes to like activities and projects, I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Who knows how to do what? Yeah. Who knows how to do who? I want to do it the same way, which is my way. Can we just hurry the fuck up? And get it done. And get this shit done. Because they have 30 minutes, too. Like, I'd be like, like, right foot, left foot, let's finish uh -huh. up. And this is another moment where Tamisha Iman really shines. Comes in as the voice of reason, I believe, and mm -hmm. is like, listen, let's just do this instead of that. That's too complicated. And she was even looking out for um, Kimora, because mm -hmm. Kimora's not a dancer. Yeah. And takes five hours to paint, we also learned. Listen. I, I take a long, long time to paint. I take about two hours and three hours. Five hours. You know what five hours is? You can watch two Lord of the Rings movies in five hours. You can? That's too long. <laughs> I don't know if you stop to smoke a blunt or if you stop just to, you know. You better take be stopping going to get the weed and the blunt and a snack, coming back, oh, rolling no. the blunt, then smoking it. It still would have take five hours. Baby, I don't you have no brows. <laughs> and you don't get them! You have no eyebrows. I don't know why it takes you that long. And it's a black baby. smoke, yeah. And you, oh, she looks incredible. And like. it's stunning, stunning. But like with that, with that bone structure and that skin, yeah. how does it take you five hours? If I had that bone structure and if I had that skin, I would motherfucker. It would take me like ten minutes to paint. I wouldn't even wear makeup. Bitch, it would take me ten minutes if I had. To. <laughs> like, like, bitch. I look. I'm over here looking like a clown. <laughs> like I have. I have about three inches of spackle on. You do. This took an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. You could chip it with like a small chip. You really could. I just, I I have so many questions for Cora. If I ever meet them, I'd be like, can I sit here and watch this five hour process? Do you make the makeup yourself? Okay, so in the maxi challenge, the room mix, who had your favorite verse? My favorite verse, um, I love Denali's. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I really did love Denali's. Move aside, it's your girl Denali. I'm cold as ice, hotter than a tamale. Keep up, and I'm shot down tough. Triple lutz on these sluts, cause I like it rough. I'm icy, spicy, for you I'm too pricey. Going for the gold, so I'ma get a little feisty. Strong like a Megatron, long like a marathon. AK to Babylon, I'm a phenomenon. I felt like uh, Tanishi Mom was very fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, those are my two standouts for me. I enjoyed um, Utica's. Spreading love from here to there. For my savior as I toss my hair. There's not a bone in my body gonna wiggle to the top. Wig, wiggle to the top. <laughs> Utica may be a small town. Farm girl fit for a crown. Lightning striking you down. Circa pose like that. Circa pose like that. Yeah. It was weird. I think she there was a line she's like, wiggle, 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 uh, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Yeah. <laughs> it was very like Dr. Seussy. I see that. I enjoyed that. Because I like the ones that are different than the, like, uh, yeah. Bitch, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I said this in the last episode. You do. Too. Just like, yes, bitch, bitch I'm work. here to slay. Twirl, my twirl, oh, twirl. And it will stay. Yeah. Death drop. RuPaul. Touch a call. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then RuPaul, touch a call, and death drop. <laughs> Give me a call, you know? <laughs> Give me a call. My throat is dry. I need a haul. <laughs> So, on the main stage, category is sheer. sheer. We're here, we're sheer. Get used to it. Oh. Yes. Sheer. 
So whose looks did you and who's your favorite, Sheer Lux? Tanisha Iman's dress was fucking lovely. That gown was everything. I also love Uticas. And Uticas, very, you know, um, let's take mushrooms in the woods and collect mm -hmm. the children. It's my shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say same. And Tamisha made that gown herself. Yeah. We love a queen that can make her own mm -hmm. looks. Mm-hmm. Craft it. My gosh. Um, and we gotta get shady because this is drag. Who was your least favorite? I, I am. Oh I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. But I, uh, it just looks so good when it's photographed. When I saw it, I know where you're going day. with it. But like rosés, I just, yeah. did, I just. I wanted to like it. I tried really hard. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. this is different. It's all the box. It's like poofy. It can't be. It's like, you mm -hmm. know, it looks like water. But then I was like, no. But Because they did work. a photo shoot. And it looks yeah. incredible. Yeah. It looks sickening. But on the main stage, it just doesn't. It I don't just know if it wasn't work. reading right. Or maybe mm -hmm. the cameras didn't help. But it just wasn't here for me. It wasn't working for me, baby. But. Lo and behold, she lands in the top two. Yes. Along with Denali. Mm -hmm. So, it worked for you. Super. It worked. <laughs> and they lip sync for their legacy and winning a cash prize. Two, if you seek Amy. A classic. Okay. That's a drag staple. Hell yeah. Uh, pretty much any Britney song is drag staple. Ba basically. Oh my god, yeah. Um, you know what's funny though with the, like, the, you know, the lip sync song specifically? Is you can really be made or braked. Made mm -hmm. or made, or made or, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, like the lip sync song can really like fuck you over. Mm -hmm. Like for example, if I was lip syncing for my life, you put on like Tainted Love, the Marilyn Manson version, whoever I'm next is gonna go home. Yes. If you had to lip sync for your life, what would your song be? What would you be like, uh oh, this other bitch is going home. They don't see the chance. It'll be If by Janet Jackson. Ooh! And you could do the... Yes. Either that or Finally by CC Kennison. Oh, yeah. Because I know each and every beat, each and every breath, or I'm Every One by Whitney Houston. That must have been one. Have they done that before? I think they... I don't know. Did they? They must have. They must have, right? They must have. We'll look it up. <laughs> we'll look it up. <laughs> Mine would really be any Gaga song. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, just because when I was 14, I just learned all the dances mm -hmm. in my room. Also, um, when you do Rain On Me, it's just so, I love it. Oh! I'd rather be dead, but at least I'm alive. <laughs> oh! Have a performance with us. Well, back to the album. We are really derailing today. We rail, okay. we, like, we rail hard, derail like, hard. Ah, uh, we are hard railing. as fuck. This is the only time I've been railed in a long time. Oh, uh, it's been so long, baby. Um, mm. For our YouTube channel viewers, you know, when I finally get laid, I'll let y'all know, because I bitch about it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Give Don it some dick. Please, ready? Here's my number. Mm -hmm. This is the only people that text me. This is GoPop. This is a text from GoPuff. I get texts and calls from GoPuff and CVS. That's it. I'm looking forward to see people in the mesh. Um, I know that, you know, the, the edit made it seem like, you know, Rose and Tina are not going to get along. A little, um, you know, foreshadowing. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. We'll see the shade. We'll see the drama. The New we'll York see Girl. if Candy News, you know, gets all bronze and bucks up. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. I'm ready for the looks. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for this to go down in the history books says one of the best seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. So tune in with us next week. Uh, where can they find us if they just want to see a little bit more? You can find us on IG. You can find us on Facebook. And you can find us on the World Wide Web under Bird Events. That is B-U-R-D-E-V-E-N-T-S. Yeah. <laughs> And also, you can also find us on TikTok, okay? Oh, you sure the fuck can. Mm -hmm. That's right. And last but not least, here on YouTube, you can hit that subscribe button and you can click on the notification bell. So you can get alert for all of our future videos. That's right, and we will see you next week, darling. Bye. Bye. Cool. <sighs> all right, well.